For me, there's always got to be something tensile in the story, some sinew in it, a real gut to it. And the detective genre, which is what, what, what has chosen me, I'd say, rather than me choosing it, you know, just cradles me, just lets me fly. It gives me a framework, and I like frameworks. I have a, what I call a, a railway timetable mentality, which is in complete opposition to my other quite anarchic, wild fancies. And uh, the two work really well together. For me, the darker it gets, the funnier it gets. That's why I'm concerned. That's the two things I want to hold. And one is no use without the other. I don't write comedy usually. I can, but I don't write it for its own sake, you know, to be fun. There's always got to be pain. You pay for everything. And uh, if, if I was saying, if that was my strength, I'd say that's what it is. It's holding these two things together. It's a craft. It's you work. You do your work. You get up. You know, you do your hours. You start at nine, usually. Six if you're really pressed. And you finish about 5.30 when you start getting shouts from downstairs for supper and stuff like that. Painful, in a way. It's like you wake up and you get this tension in your gut, you know, and you spend all day trying to kind of tease it out, to release it, to get it to go somewhere and onto the pitch. And then you wake up the next morning and you do it all over again, which is, and some people might think that's quite stupid, <laughs> actually. The theatre was the most terrifying because, because of being an actor, I was in all these great plays. And, you know, when you've been in Chekhov or Arthur Miller or David Mamet or whatever the hell, uh, you know, and you start to think about writing, that's quite, you know, that's quite a template you're supposed to follow. It is the most exciting medium, I suppose, because it's alive. But it is, I did find it, to begin with, just terrifying. Film, I love. But, but I, I've got quite a good visual sense, and I love film. I love, I love the kind of denseness of it. It's wonderful. I totted it up that in the McLeavy series for Radio 4, I have written something like 27 hours of radio drama. It's the words. It's being able to use words and not... I mean, I, visuals are wonderful and all the rest of it, but when, when somebody says, right, you've got to create the visual with the word, then I think, OK, great, because I love words. I love using them. I think somewhere I'm a closet poet, but thank God I've never, <laughs> I've never written poetry. But uh, I think somewhere I am a closet poet, and... Uh, I love putting words together, and radio is great, and you do get the most extraordinarily good actors. Books, I just never thought I'd be able to write them, frankly. Just the length, I mean, all these 120,000 words. I thought, I can't do that. I mean, I'll peg out, but I've written three, and uh, I'm proud, I'm proud of them.